What is up, Leo? Welcome to your general timeless reading. This is general, so take what resonates and leave the rest. And it's timeless, so whenever you see this, this is when it's most meant for you. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter placements. And I do have 22% off all my services right now through March 26th. So if you want to have a personal reading or a Reiki session, because I'm a master Reiki practitioner, go ahead and take advantage of that sale for the spring equinox down below. Okay? Um, let's get into it, Leo. Let's see what's going on for you. Let's use let's use Tarot of Dreams for you. Yeah, let's use Tarot of Dreams. If you haven't seen a reader use Tarot of Dreams before, this particular deck does have palace cards in it. Palace cards describe the environment. So if one of those cards come out, just know that it's unique to this deck. It's not something that is um, in all tarot decks. Okay. Okay, for Leo. Um, Leo, I hear storming away, storming away. I feel like you're finally done with it. You're finally done with it. You're just letting it go. You're done. You're done with it. Yeah. No. Uh, remember this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter placements. Okay. Yeah. Page of Swords in reverse and the Four of Wands in reverse. You're telling yourself you're done with it, but you're not really done with it. You're storming away because you're upset. You're hurt. Yeah. Because the Page of Swords in reverse is someone who's lying to themselves. Their head and their heart are not agreeing, right? So you have the Page of Swords and the Four of Wands in reverse. You're telling yourself you're done, but you're not really done. The foundation is done. The foundation's gone. But you're not being honest with yourself about how you feel about this foundation being gone. Okay? So let's continue. Let's see what else we have for this. For Leo. Okay. Um, they're showing me butterflies. Uh, butterflies to me don't always mean transformation. They actually mean illusion. Um, yeah, five of cups. And the chariot, because every time I, I hear, I see a butterfly, I actually think of the Ashton Kutcher movie, movie Butterfly Effect. Um, and to me, it's like a lot of distortion, a lot of illusion, a lot of like confusion. Like that movie to me is, is very hard to follow. And so anytime I see a butterfly, I immediately think of that movie, like the butterfly effect. Um, that's just what that means to me in my channel as a reader. So with the five of cups here in the chariot, you need to mourn what it is about this foundation that is done that you're still holding on to. And that's when you're finally going to be able to move forward, right? Because energetically, you're still holding on to energies that emotionally are no longer serving you, right? So telling yourself you're done, telling yourself you're done, you might be physically in the material world done with this foundation, but energetically, you're suppressing and pushing down emotions that need to be released, that need to be addressed, right? So it could be that I am still upset about this or I am still missing this person and I need to recognize that even though I miss this person, that relationship wasn't healthy or we were ping-ponging back and forth conditional love or we were ping-ponging back and forth manipulative behaviors or I wasn't getting back what I was putting forth, right? There was an imbalance in this relationship of some sort because the five of cups means that you never got to the six, okay? You never got to the six. You're, you're sitting at the five. You're sitting in this feeling of lack, of loss, right? It, it, it's a need for change. It's also a need to mourn it, to let it go, okay? Bottom of the deck is the Palace of Cups followed by the Two of Cups. And this is, ah, oh, then you have the Ten of Cups underneath that followed by the Four of Swords, yeah. Followed by the Ten of, holy crap, Ten of Wands. Okay, so basically, let me break this down. So you're moving into an energy that is going to surround you with safety, security, stability, feeling at peace. And that's what you're trying to call in and trying to move into. This is a theme throughout all the zodiac signs I have done today. It's this, even personal readings I've done today. The entire collective is seeking externally, like, I want to feel safe. I want to feel secure. And I, I need to get it from this person, this, this um, what's, the, what's the word? Um, closure, right? I need to apologize or receive that apology or have that conversation or I want to, but I know I shouldn't. And really what you're seeking is that sense of safety, security, peace within self, within your current life. And you're thinking it's going to show up externally and it's not. It's just within you. You need to come to, to peace with things within yourself, within alignment within yourself, the two of cups, right? 
Because this Ten of Cups, you're mourning the loss of something that was really important to you. That meant a lot to you. But it, but it is done. The 10 minus the 2 gives you an 8. It's something that you keep thinking you have to walk back to, but it's not emotionally something that serves you anymore. It served an old version of yourself, right? And there's healing that has to be done there. Four of Swords, because there's a lack of recognition that it's a 10 of Wands, that it's done, and it's not authentic to you. Ace of Swords, okay? And that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. It's, it's coming to the place of kind of like acceptance, right? Like... As much as I cared and love this, maybe it's just, it's not best to go back to that. Maybe it's not good for me. Maybe it's not good for them. You know? It's having that difficult conversation with yourself of asking yourself, why am I really craving this? Why do I really want it? Right? Why, why am I really wanting it? Am I wanting it for me? Am I, or am I wanting it for them? Okay. And then thinking of the cause and effect for both of you. And if it's fair for both of you. Ace of Cups in reverse. Yep. Eight of Cups in reverse in the wheel. Yeah. Um, page of Swords in reverse and the Ace of Cups in reverse. They're, they're, you're not seeing the lack of care for self going on here, right? The lack of care and consideration for your own emotional state. Too much focus is being given to like, well, that person or that job or, or that social group or that family member, right? Like there's too much. What about you? You can't control the other people. You just can't control them. You can't control what they say. You can't control what they do. You don't know what, you, what they're thinking. You don't know what, what they're feeling. You don't know why they're taking action or why they're not taking action because you're not in their head. And so all these stories that you're hearing are most likely perpetuated by the ego, right? They're all lies. Page of Swords, because you, you don't know the truth because there's no communication. Page of Swords in reverse. There's no communication. And so things aren't moving forward because you're continuing the cycle of returning to the scene of the crime, right? Eight of Cups, not moving on from something, just staying exactly where you are, telling yourself you're moving on, but you're not. And not giving yourself the care and compassion of, you know what? I'm releasing something that just doesn't serve me. It's not giving me peace. It's giving me chaos. The only person inflicting this chaos right now is your own, your own mind, though. Because you're, you're telling yourself these false stories. And you don't know if they're true. Let's look at the Four of Wands. King of Swords, Seven of Cups in Reverse, Nine of Cups in Reverse, and the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, this is interesting. Somebody might get to the point where they really want to communicate about um, what they realize about this relationship, right? And it might not be actual communication. It might just be the, the sudden realization because King of Swords... Um, the King of Swords is just very smart. They're very intelligent. They're very honest. They're very blunt. They're, they could be very brutal at times, but it, it's just very clear cut communication. And it is the, it is the energy of action, right? Because it's ma masculine energy. They take action in the physical, tangible world. And with the Seven of Cups, it's the sign of clarity. It's no more confusion. It's seeing very clearly that, you know what? I'm confident in myself and what I'm capable of building and what I'm capable of investing and what I'm capable of bringing to the table because it's the Eight to the Nine of Pentacles. It's practice. It's diligence. It's effort, right? And there's an Ace of Pentacles there. It's wanting to build a new foundation because this foundation was faulty. So somebody here is thinking about reconciliation, it doesn't feel like they're truly taking action on it. It's the thought of, I'm thinking of reconciliation, but am I thinking about this reconciliation for me? Or am I thinking about it for them? Why do I want to reconcile? Because the King of Swords is strategic. They're strategic. There's no action here. Because look, they're thinking about it, but they're sitting there. They're sitting. They're not really taking action. They're just thinking. I could. I could do it. But... What do I need to release? Why, why do I want to? Why do I want to? Is it for this person or is it for myself, right? The Five of Cups. 
So you're, it feels like both people are recognizing that there's a need to release old energy here, whether it be hurt, pain, resentment, anger, upset, which anger is rooted in feelings of hurt and pain and resentment and betrayals, right? Anger is a secondary emotion. It's not a primary emotion. It's rooted in embarrassment, um, disappointment, feeling let down. Okay, so just if you're angry, sit with yourself and try and figure out what you're actually feeling because it's not anger, it's rooted in something else. And you're covering it up with anger to protect yourself from being vulnerable. Yep, Seven of Swords. Uh, this is a self-sabotaging behavior. This Five of Cups energy, um, this, this is somebody trying, let me rephrase that. Somebody's trying to prevent a self-sabotaging behavior, okay? They know that if they were to go in and to communicate it might sabotage the situation, right? Which is why they're pausing before taking action. Is it really worth it to communicate? Is it good for that person? Is it good for myself? Is it worth it? We're in Aries season. Aries season is the sign of self. It's also the start of new beginnings. And we also just had um, the full moon in Virgo. Virgo is very practical. It's very grounded. It's very idealistic energy. But we also had Pisces energy. And we had Neptune and we have Jupiter in Pisces. And we have a bunch of planets hanging out in Pisces. Higher consciousness energy. People are, if this individual is very grounded and very in line with their higher power, but also the physical self, because they have swords and water, right? The head and the heart, the higher chakra system, and the lower chakras, pentacles, earth energy, okay? And wands, soul energy. They got all of it right there, okay? They're very aware of the situation and they're taking, whether this is you or the person you're dealing with, and they're taking the time to think, is it something I should really pursue? Five of Cups, yeah. Validation for me as a reader that the channel message is correct. When, when I get the same card on top of the same card, it's just, yeah, we're on the right track. Six of Wands in reverse. They don't see it as something that's going to benefit either one of you. It's kind of like, if I apologize to this person, it's going to rip open the wound all over again. It's going to rip open the wound all over again. And if I apologize, is this relationship really something that we're going to heal and move forward with? King of Cups. Their heart's not really in it. Their heart's not really in it, right? They know that. They know that. As much as they want to approach the situation and they think about approaching the situation, they know in their heart it's not going to work out. They know their intuition is telling them that this is not going to work out. And if it's not going to work out, it might be because one person's in a higher self and the other might be in a trauma body. It might still be sitting in anger and hurt, right? Because if we're, if we have two people sitting in the ego and anger and hurt, we're going to ping pong, hurt people, hurt people back and forth, right? And if we have one person sitting in the higher self and one person sitting in ego and hurt, we have somebody trying to heal the situation and somebody still trying to hurt, 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 and we're not going to get anywhere. But if we have two people sitting in intuition, Two people trying to resolve a situation. We have forward momentum, right? There's the opportunity for someone to who's hurt to learn something from somebody who's who's trying to heal a situation. But most of the time, when someone's hurt, they're they're not hearing because they're working from a trauma body, right? The ego's in the head. It's it's covering their intuition. Let's look at the chariot. It's kind of like that saying, like, you, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't force it to drink. If they're not willing to hear you, they're not willing to hear you, right? Four of swords and the five of swords, yeah. It's like trying to heal the situation is actually just going to create more conflict. And that's, that's the truth of it. The four of swords to the five of swords. It's progress forward, yeah. But the reality of the situation, the ace of swords, is that the change that needs to happen is both people need to move in a new direction. Chariot. Five of Pentacles in reverse. It's it's accepting the the loss. It's not coming out of the gold and, and fixing the situation. It's accepting the loss. It's kind of like, nah, it doesn't feel like a loss. It just feels like, oh, this had its reason, its season, and its first and its per purpose, right? It's most likely a karmic connection and you learned a lesson from it. Whoever this king is, they're seeing like, oh, we mirrored conditional love, or we mirrored um codependency, or we mirrored 
because karmic connections, you're typically mirroring trauma, right? Hurt people, hurt pe people, right? You ping pong that crap back and forth. And then you're wondering why the relationship doesn't work. They're understanding now why it didn't work. And it's leading them to a, to a palace of coins, to an energy of stability, of raising their frequency. Let's look at palace of coins. This is probably, yeah, we've got the emperor, ten of wands. Ace of Wands in reverse. Lovers. Let's see what this one is. And the King of Pentacles. Wow. King of Pentacles means that this was their old energy. They were a King of Pentacles. Uh, King of Pentacles is a mini emperor for me. They've upgraded. They upgraded. They ended this cycle as a King of Pentacles, right? That's their old energy. And they upgraded to the Emperor. Divine masculine energy. They raised their consciousness. And now they're about to step into a new cycle and attract new partnerships. Or they also went through this upgrade because as they released this partnership, they were in another partnership that helped them see this aspect of themselves, okay? And that's what helped them heal, okay? Through through a divine partnership outside of this, okay? I like this because it's leading them to be the Knight of Cups, right? Working through a place of authenticity, the higher heart. They're making um, offers and gestures that are really authentic to them and they're following what their heart is actually guiding them to. And then you have judgment. The soul's path it's karma right the karmic cycles closed and now they're heading into a new karmic path karma is not bad it has a negative connotation attached to it but it's not bad karma just means lessons there's good karma there's bad karma but good and bad are just dualities just like we have light and dark yin and yang masculine feminine right it's just a duality it's a label so don't attach so much to good and bad because guess what we made labels it's our fault <laughs> okay don't attach to it it's just lessons it's things that are helping you evolve and integrate your shadow so you can become the not even the best version of yourself, just yourself. Just yourself. That's it. Yourself. Your true self. That's all I'm going to say because language really fucks shit up. Okay? I love you. I hope you enjoyed this reading. And if you want a personal reading or a Reiki session, book it down below. And I'll see you next time.